that very tall building in the distance with the flag flying. That's uh, Columbia University Hospital. This whole area is pretty much being taken over by Columbia for future developments. And even when you look south on Broadway, a lot of the modern buildings that have been developed is again, Columbia University. They're turning this whole area into more of a location for healthcare. And you can watch probably in the next 10 years, 20, 30 years, a lot of these buildings are gonna be taken over and uh, used for the healthcare area. Already, uh, Columbia owns a lot of the land around here and a lot of the buildings around here. They're just waiting uh, for development opportunities. You can see here apartment buildings. But a lot of times when you're developing, you just can't kick someone out of their apartment. You have to move slowly. And that's what Columbia, Columbia has done the last 40 years, 50 years in this whole area. As a university, you have a very, very long lifespan and a very, very long time frame. Another angle of the buildings that Columbia has put up. You can tell that they're going to put up more buildings. It's becoming kind of like a campus north of Columbia. They're already at 125th Street, extensive buildings there. But I suspect between 125th and 168th Street, where this campus is, they're going to fill that space in over the next decade, two decades, three decades. They're already doing it here. And a closer look around this area, around 168th and St. Nicholas. Now, here's an interesting school that's here. You can bet Columbia has its eyes on this school because it makes sense. It's right near all the other buildings that Columbia has around here. The hospitals, the other apartments that are around here. It's becoming very much like a campus. This is part of the hospital complex at 168th and Broadway. You can see all the way down to the, where they have the copper-topped building. It's all part of the hospital. And even down here, those buildings are all part of the hospital too. And there are the new developments, Columbia also. This is the beautiful entryway to the hospital. They redid this. You can see the massive structure behind here. And then the other buildings that are here, just a closer view of some of the other buildings from a different perspective. Another beautiful building. Now, if you notice, there is a little bit of an oddity there where you have this three-story structure on the ground floor and a modern building. That structure that's on the, the bottom three stories, Columbia was forced to keep because it was a historical entity or historical building. So the city compromised. They allowed Columbia to build a modern building but then they had to keep this facade. You can see the beautiful environment around here. Very conducive 
for having a hospital. Subway entrance right here. Two trains, two lines connecting here. The one line and the A and the C line right here. So it makes it very easy for a lot of people to come to the hospital, a lot of people to come for research. There's a lot of research done around here and a lot of teaching done for medical students. And still a closer look at this beautiful facade. That was a historical ballroom that they had to tear down partially or almost all of it they had to tear down to allow for the construction of this ultra-modern building used for research and healthcare. And again, this is Broadway, around 167th Street. One of the best children's hospitals in the whole country is here too. And that's where a lot of parents from all over the East Coast come here to have their children looked after. If it's uh, warranted, of course. But this is one of the best facilities available. The Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital. Just a closer look. The beautiful work they've done on this facade. see here the masterful work done on all the terracotta Beautiful entryway here. All the stores. Just a great repurposing of this former ballroom that was here. And the redoing of the exterior of the former ballroom. You can see how busy it is here at 165th and Broadway. Traffic going to the George Washington Bridge. That's why it's so busy. This is looking north towards the George Washington Bridge as the traffic is heading there and looking at all the buildings here that are part of Columbia University. And you can bet most of the other buildings around here are owned by Columbia or they're going to be owned by Columbia very soon. Right behind that complex are these townhomes. And you can bet they're either already acquired or they're going to be acquired by Columbia because this is a beautiful development opportunity by the university. Now, that usually happens when you have a big, big university that is in the growth phase. And as we look towards Broadway, and then as we look behind that development that was done, you can see a parking lot that's here. You know, I'm sure the eyes are on this parking lot to develop, but Columbia is also smart. They don't want to overdevelop. They want to develop so that there's space that's needed versus just to put up a huge building that's going to remain empty. You don't want that. You want to have a reason for doing something. So you can see how they put up all these other modern buildings but their pace is slow and deliberate and it's a good pace because sometimes you don't know where healthcare is going to be headed so you don't want to rush just to develop for the sake of development. 